go everyone, this is Shadow Tier 1030, and today I'm here to bring you all another Jurassic Live content, and this time I'm going to be showcasing you all the brand new creatures that are available thanks to update 3.9. The updates should be available for both iOS and Android. But before I go any further, I do want to mention things. For starters, Ludia provided the beta test version to build brand content to you all. Second, if you're not already, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and bell so you can learn times as to when I upload content on this channel. So all that being said, let's go ahead and get back to topic today's video. If you take a look at the screen next to me, Garzals and the Mantrax, all key design wise. Anyways, it has 58, 34 at health, 14, 58 damage, 118 speed, 30% of the armor, and 10% chance to build a crit. For the ability knows, evasive strike, evasive strike and impact, and group instant resilient charge. Other abilities it knows is distracting counter. Resistance 2 are 100% stun, 75% spell prevention, 25% reduced damage, 50% speed decrease, and 2% of the reduced armor. It's okay, but maybe it could do well in tournaments, we'll see. Next up is Estimenos Sukis. Okay, design wise, it has 5773 health, 1701 damage, 116 speed, 25% of the armor, and 10% chance to build a crit. The abilities it knows are Cunning Resilient Strike, Revenge, Entrapment Rampage, which by the way is the ability if you happen to trigger the uh, revenge ability. Anyways, next up is. Brief Shielded Distracting Strike, and Instant Ambush. The other abilities it knows are Blighted uh, Counter Strike, and No Escape. Resistance 2 are 75% of the stun, 100% reduced damage, 100% vulnerability, 50% speed decrease, and 50% of the reduced armor. It's not too bad, maybe we could do well on tournaments, but again, we'll see. Last but not least is Ankyle Dactylus. Okay, design wise, I'm pretty sure that the person who had um, asked for Ankyle Ceratops to be able to be picked, well, looks like you're gonna be happy about it getting a uh, Apex Hybrid. Anyways, it has 5408 uh, health, 1701 damage, 122 uh, speed, 25% of the armor, and 5% to crit. For the abilities it knows, Aerial Strike, Greater Shielded Devastation, Dragon Breath, and Cunning Resilient Alert. This is the other ability in case if it ends up being threatened. The other abilities it knows are Invisibility Heal, Unescape Resilient Shield, Exposing Counter, and Absorb. That's quite a lot, turn if you think about it. Anyways, for the resistance to our 100% stun, 67% chance to build to uh, sort of prevention, 33% rending, 75% reduced damage, 50% damage overtime, 50% vulnerability, 100% speed decrease, 25% reduced armor, and 50% of affliction. This is honestly a not bad um, Apex flock. This could maybe do well against Comso uh, Vandor. Depends on the uh, situation. Hello, this is me from the future. Unfortunately, Comso Vandor still has the upper hand against Ancandaculus. This could change over time, but we'll have to wait and see. That's all the cover for today's video. Now, let me know in the comments below your thoughts on our cover here. Do you like these new creatures? Do you like the new updates so far? Let me your thoughts. I'd hear it. Hopefully, you all did enjoy today's video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Check out the channel, subscribe bell if you want more content videos. And as usual, I will see you all in the next video. Take care.